There's me, Princess Aladdin. The search of the Sultan Stone. Alright, here we come. The sun stone shone brightly in the sky. Jasmine survived the palace walls. There was still work to do. Tomorrow was the day of unity. The day each year when all of Arkansas celebrate the city's history. And this year was that 500 years of Beverly. She stabbed her father. The Sultan, speaking exactly to one of her, said Jasmine would closer to listen. The surgery Rod shook his head. I'm sorry, Sultan, but the search party fought to find the stone. The stars jungle is just too vast. The Sultan looked very disappointed. Thank you for letting me know. The Sultan jungle. Jasmine felt she'd always want to go there, but her father said it was too dangerous. She found Aladdin and told him what she had her. Leave me. I don't like her understand. We also been setting a G for you. I begged he was talking about the Sultan Stone. Aladdin said, the first Sultan of Akagras who has belonged by all. But the Sultan's brother was jealous, so he stole it in the board and stored the beyond to the Sultan and hid it behind a waterfall in the jungle. No one has ever been able to found it, until they said. Jasmine said, because we're going to found it, sounds like my kind of adventure. A let it die. He whispered in for the magic carpet at Abu, and together they took off for the Hagana jungle. One day, Jasmine asked, Aladdin more about the stone. What does the Sultan stone look like? Exactly. Most people believe it's a stone of the first Sultan. No one knows what he looked like. I wonder if... That's it! Jasmine grunted, pointing to a dense forest in the middle of the desert. The Hagener and Jungle. The the magic carpet and grill to the ground right on the edge of the jungle. Jasmine told me the magic carpet that they return soon. Jasmine led the way. The jungle was beautiful. It, it didn't seem scary at all. Why was father so crowned about me coming here? She wondered. It's so peaceful, and Jasmine looked up a Latin cried. Jasmine stopped just in time. They were at the edge of a swamp. A boo crunched transwiftly and point. Something was moving in the swamp. It's not just anything. It was a crocodile. Uh, maybe we should turn around. Mm-hmm. And try a different robot, Alan said. But Jasmine spot just what they needed. Too long, strong branches. She had a land in one of the branches with the other. She went clear over the swam. Aladdin used his branch to cross over after her. Nice work, princess, he told her. Now let's find this thing and get out of here. But after just a few steps, they came to a clearing. In the center was a right giant stone colored with beautiful gels. Well, that was easy, Alana said, giving Jasmine a scared look. Could this be... The Sultan Stone Jasmine started to walk current to 
stole up of of the Aladdin. Stop her, Jasmine. If the stone is right here, why has no one discovered it? Yup, he said. And I don't see any waterfalls around here. Good point, Jasmine has added. It could be a trap. He said, I'm walking closer to the stone here himself. Jasmine picked out Gungadon from a gnarly tree and rolled into the base of the stone. Zap! As soon as the Gungadon hit the stone, there was a brilliant burst of light. The Gungadon was going to burn to the cinders. Jasmine gasped. The Sultan's brother must have been a powerful enter to make a stone do that. Well, I'm glad the Grogan found that of the, the hard way. And no, not us, a ladder he hung. Jasmine thought the trap must be they wear head in the right direction. But after hours but teaching, she st- started starting to wonder if Aladdin had been right. Maybe they should have tried a different route to begin with. Everyone was trying, hungry and ready for a rest. When Jasmine returned around to dissect a break, she saw that Abu had a bunch of fairies in his hand. They were a beautiful midnight blue, and they looked exactly like Abu, Jasmine cried as Abu heard a few berries into his mouth. Those are negative berries. There runs in Abu quickly and spilled out the berries. It's a good thing you didn't eat those. Abu, Aladdin said, I know you're hungry. Well, get your dinner soon. But the berries had gotten Jasmine thinking. No the berries only grew near water. Jasmine raised her head and sure enough, there it was. The waterfall Aladdin and Abu caught up. You found it, Aladdin cried. Jasmine and Aladdin walked over to get a closer look. A path of musting rocks led right behind two falls. Hungry Jasmine stepped onto the his rock and almost slipped into the rushing water. Slowly, they made it across. But when they reached the back of the waterfall, there was only a bare cave wall. Jasmine sighed. Had they come on this way for nothing, she learned again as the wall to rest. Suddenly, suddenly the wall moved. Aladdin, help me push this open, she explained. They pushed with all the strength. Slowly but surely, the wall began to turn when it was fully open. Jasmine and Aladdin saw that where there was a secret room. In the center of the room sat and sang in the wooden box. But Jasmine and Aladdin didn't reach for it right away. They remembered what had, had happened with the stone trap. Aladdin springs. Then the room took one step forward, lightly placing his, his foot on the floor. Ringing, the floor tiles began to crumble, began to rush her. Jasmine, he said, are you ready to run fast? Jasmine, now the end together, they lost. What friends as the repair end? Enter floor grounds began to them. These rocks began to fall from above. They entered left. Damn right. 
And just as Aladdin and Jasmine were about to run out of floor, they reached their present and singing she shaking up stop. So that could have gone better, Aladdin said as she looked at the kungs and curtains behind them. At least where have the stone? Jasmine replied, picking up the box. Now extend the instrument snag into the ground, presenting a secret of it. Of course, this must be how to the sunken has been after hiding the stone. Jasmine said, they followed the present down and around left and right until they back in the jungle on the other side of the waterfall. We made it, Jasmine cried. I think it's time to take a look at the stone, Alana said. Jasmine opened the box, expecting to find a string to cover it. Hers and drinks an ore, sparkly in the sun. Inside, uh, inside. Instead, she found a very simple uh, of a woman wearing royal rules. Jasmine turned it over in the head. Look, there's one written on it. Aladdin pointed out. Jasmine peered closely at the writing. The stone of blood. The first written. The stone of Lala. The third rule of Marvifat, she read. I guess the first sultan of Nursing was excited about something. A maddened smile. This is a beautiful strange, he said. I run it, and I'm sure our girl will be very happy to have it back, speaking of which we should probably get back. I promise get back. I love you too, Jasmine. I love you very can't I love you so much, me too. I can happy. Well, I can happy. At noon the next day, the people of Agagraga are in front of the palace. Before we celebrate, my daughter would like to speak. The Sultan is in. Jasmine stepped forward. We are so excited to have you at the palace, she began. And we are even more excited because we were celebrating some special on this 500th day of Oli. The thus the salted stone into the air. The return of the salted stone, she cried. The crowd gasped and then broke into wild cheers. Jasmine glanced at her father. Was month? Well, it was wide open, but, but how did you find the salted stone? I thought it was in the hunger thing in the jungle. You think so? It was in the jungle, Jasmine said with a smile. I'll take you of their surgeon. She winked. The day of Oli was a huge success. The people of Nixon packed the palace grounds, eating, playing, and most of all, celebrating the turn of the salt and stone. Thank you. This is my darling. We are to celebrate.